Hello and welcome to our examroom.ai demonstration on how to take an exam. First, students will come to our examroom.ai website and click sign in. Once they come into our sign in page, they will log in using their credentials. For the sake of this demo, I have access to both client and candidate roles, but based on the login given, a candidate or client will only have access to one or the other. Once logged in, the candidate will be directed to the candidate dashboard. Here, under scheduled exam list, they will be able to see all the available exams for them to start. So we will click start exam. And we are brought to our on-screen terms and conditions page. The client has the option to edit this as they pleased to add or remove any information necessary for their exam. The candidate must click that they agree to the following terms and conditions before they can move on in their test. Now we are waiting for the onboarding agent. At this screen, the candidate will share their screen and it must remain sharing through the onboarding and testing session. Next, we are being directed to our onboarding agent. Candidates will notice that they have access to a chat box where they can text their onboarding agent or to speak verbally. During this section of our onboarding process, the onboarding agent will check the candidate screen to make sure that the webcam, the microphone, the operating system, and the browser are all working properly, as well as the candidate has enough bandwidth and any payments have been made in full. Once the onboarding agent verifies this information, they will click Next Step. Now we are brought to the authentication part of our verification. Here, the candidate is required to issue a photo ID for the onboarding agent to take a photo. This is a photo ID that has been submitted during registration of the candidate's profile and the onboarding agent will verify that both IDs match. Once the onboarding agent has captured that photo, they will click Next Step. Now we are brought to the face scan portion. Here the onboarding agent will take a photo of the candidate to compare during a photo submitted during registration of the candidate's profile. Once the onboarding agent completes this step, they will click Next Step. Now we are brought to the portion of onboarding where a candidate will submit to a room scan to make sure that there are no other individuals in their room and that their desks are clear of any prohibited materials. If a testing administrator allows for scratch paper or open book, candidates will have to show that material ahead of time to make sure that it is approved by the testing administrator. Once this step is complete, the onboarding agent will click Next Step. On this page, candidates will see the exam terms and rules for their examination. Some of the rules include no online calculators, no open books, no drinks on desk, no additional browser tabs. Again, this is something that can be tailored by the client for the individual exams. Once the candidate has read these terms and understands the rules, they will click that they have read them and agree and they will begin exam. Once they click begin exam, the onboarding agent will transfer the candidate to the next available proctor to begin the exam. Once the candidate is brought to the login page for the exam, they will enter the information of their access code, candidate last name, and candidate ID. This information will be provided in the chat box by the proctor. Once the candidate receives the information, they cannot copy and paste. They have to manually type in for each entry field. Once their fields are entered, they will click login and they will be directed to begin their exam. Thank you for watching our demo video, and I hope we were able to help answer any questions and guide you through the process of taking an exam.